Okay, so sometimes you're going to be given a contingency table and um, the first thing you'll do probably is just finish, in, uh, finish filling in the totals. So we'll add 16 and 465, which is 481. We we'll add 220 and 81, which is 301. We'll add 16 and 220, which is 236, and 465 with 81, is three, oh, 546. And then we add the column on the far right, which says 782, and also make sure that the bottom row adds up to 782, and that's the way to check your answer. So we have filled in the table, perfect. All right, what is the probability that a randomly selected person surveyed has a job and is less than 18 years old? If they have a job and is less than 18, well the only section there would be 16 people. So 16 people out of 782 is 0 0.02, or only 2% of the population. So what is the probability that a randomly selected person surveyed has a job? Well look for, look for the row of people that have a job. Okay? It's these two sections added together, but you've already added them together. So 481 out of 782. And the percentage for that is 0 0.62. 62% of the population has a job. And then finally, uh, part D says, what is the probability that a randomly selected person surveyed has a job or, keyword, or is 18 or older? So if you look at the table, here are all the people that have a job, is in this top row. The people who are 18 or older would be this row of people. So there's really two ways to look at this problem. Either you can add these three numbers, which would be 16 plus 465 plus 81, and divide by 782. Can I get that sum from you? Sixteen plus four hundred sixty five plus eighty one is five hundred sixty two. Five hundred sixty two divided by seven eighty two will be point seven two. All right, so that's the first way that I would solve it just because I have the um, I have the chart. However, um, if you're trained in solving this by using the formula, what you're thinking is, I need to add all the people that have a job, I need to add all the people that are 18 or older, and then I need to subtract the people who have both, right? So the people, I know it's out of 782, so the people who have a job is how many? 481, the people who are 18 or older, 546. 546, and then you're going to subtract the people who you counted twice, or the people who have a job and are 18 or older, which is 465. If you added those three numbers on top, 481 plus 546, minus 465, that'll still give you 562, and that'll still give you 72% of the population, or 72% of the people surveyed.
Okay? So hopefully that cleared up.